Hi, this is Ryan with Chalk, and today we're here with our Chief Scientific Officer, Dr. Matt Dorsey, to talk about quercetin, the master bioflavonoid. If you like these videos, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe so you can get the latest information on herbs and natural living from our channel. Stick around for a coupon to save at chalk.com. Okay, Dr. Matt, first of all, tell us what in the world is a bioflavonoid? So bioflavonoid, um, without giving you an entire lecture on, on this, since this is a, supposed to be a fairly short video, um, it is a phytochemical, right? It's a category of phytochemicals, just phytochemical meaning a, a naturally occurring compound that comes in plants, Okay. right? Uh, bioflavonoids tend to be great antioxidants. They also tend to be excellent for immune system support and to support a healthy inflammation response. Um, and in, in general, um, uh, quercetin, or I guess more specifically, quercetin is called the master bioflavonoid because it is the most researched of all of the different bioflavonoids. Gotcha. And it also is arguably the most potent as well. Okay. So what, what kind of foods or, or plants would we be familiar with that might contain quercetin? Well, if you look it up, you'll see, for example, a long list of just common fruits and vegetables that include quercetin in different amounts. Some of them just in micro amounts, some of them more. Um, one of the best examples is onions, actually. Okay. Yeah, and it makes sense because in Chinese medicine, we actually use onions, especially green onions, uh, for immune system support. Okay, so what are some reasons that people take quercetin? Yeah, so um, again, like a lot of other bioflavonoids, amazing for immune system support. Okay. Um, great for cardiovascular health and also for healthy inflammation response. Um, one of the main things, though, specifically is, is healthy histamine levels. Oh, okay. So seasonal support, basically. Got it. Yeah. Um, it's so what's called a mast cell stabilizer. And mast cells, you know, as you, you may or may not know, right? Yeah. Yep. Looks familiar. Right? Okay. So mast cell actually um, is like this big bag of histamine almost and other, other things that can, that can regulate the uh, inflammatory response. Mm -hmm. And it helps to stabilize these mast cells so that they're secreting histamine in a healthy fashion. Got it. Okay, that's really interesting. So, um, what about uh, what about bioavailability? I know there's a myth. Uh, well, maybe a myth. You tell me. I'd right, love for right. you to myth bust yeah, this. Yeah, for sure. Um, is quercetin? Is it difficult to find bioavailable quercetin? Yeah. So quercetin in general, um, obviously, it's not that you can't absorb it at all because it, it does obviously have profound effects on the on the human physiology. The problem is that it is inherently very low bioavailability. Okay. Um, so unfortunately, I don't have an exact number for you, but it is the, the vast majority of it does not actually make its way into your bloodstream. Um, and so a lot of people have to take huge, huge doses. So oh, a lot of quercetins okay. will be like maybe 500 milligrams, something like that. That's not a lot. Um, when you get it in nature, it's also going to be paired with a bunch of other stuff, right? Right. That was my next question. Cofactors. Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's a factor too. Um, and we don't have a huge amount of research on quercetin by itself versus quercetin with other stuff mm -hmm. to see how it uh, how it changes and its effects. But um, uh, one of the ways that you can get higher bioavailability quercetin is by using um, quercetin phytosome, which is actually what we use in uh, chalk armor. Okay. And the phytosome, it's, it's actually a special one that's made in Italy. And what they do is it's, it's very similar to a liposomal technology. And it actually gets a 20-fold higher absorption. Wow. So, for example, we have 500 in uh, chalk armor, which is actually the equivalent of taking 10,000 milligrams of regular quercetin. That's amazing. Yeah. For anyone who might not know, do you want to just touch on, um, on what liposomal means and why it could be more beneficial? For sure. Um, well, long story short, it... It's, it's a way of sort of encapsulating and, and making a compound uh, much easier to sort of disperse. Sure. Um, so that you have greater surface area and you don't have clumping of the different particles so that they can make their way actually into your bloodstream. Yeah, that's Just a great a way to say simplified explanation. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So it helps delivery, transport, availability, mm -hmm. all the things we Absolutely. need when we're taking a supplement. Yeah, yeah, okay. liposomes are fantastic, yeah. Yeah, I love that. Um, well, that is really fascinating, Kristen. I feel like I see this all the time. Um, I think a lot of people are really unsure kind of what it does or what role it could play. Um, so tell us again the formula that Chalk um, includes quercetin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we use it in our uh, immune system support product called Chalk Armor. Okay. Uh, Chalk Armor is sort of like its immune system. We call it immunoadaptogen though, because it does have some other properties. Um, we put a little bit of stuff in there for stress and mood support. Um, quercetin, interestingly enough, also functions to help with mitochondrial function as well. 
can induce mitochondrial biogenesis or mitogenesis. Okay. And we're always thinking about how to formulate to give people better energy levels and better brain function. Right. And so that's why quercetin was the kind of ideal choice as like the, the central ingredient in armor. Okay. Um, but it does have some other stuff. It's got andrographis in it, which is another great herb that's used in Ayurveda and Chinese medicine for immune system support and inflammation support, inflammation response and uh, lemon balm, which is a favorite. Again, lemon balm, great for immune system, but it's also pro-GABA, it's a GABAergic, so sure. it has that gentle calming effect as well. Oh, I love that, that sounds yeah. great. So if people wanna find even more information about this product or any of Chalk's products, where can they go for more? Yeah, so if you wanna to go to chalk.com and look at our blog, I've written a, a blog article very detailed on the science behind quercetin, if you'd like. Um, and then we have obviously lots of information on armor and the whole background of the formula, the science that went into formulating it as well. That's amazing. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah, for sure. Use these coupon codes over at chalk.com and thanks for liking and subscribing.